Welcome. This is an extended insight practice to notice sensations and access internal family system protectors, whether managers, firefighter distractors, or exiles. We're going to start with the breath and go from there. If you notice thoughts, just label it thinking and then come back to the breath. Instead of moving through the body, resting on specific parts, this is more of an open awareness that lays the foundation for feeling the emotions in the body and responding with compassion. Find a comfortable meditation posture. You can lie down during this practice, but if you find yourself growing tired or falling asleep, you may want to sit up straight while meditating. Notice where in the body you can feel the breath. Pick one spot where the sensation of breathing is strongest and collect your mind onto this part of the body. That spot might be the nostrils. It might be your chest. It might be your diaphragm. Or for you, it might be all of those. You may try using a simple mantra of in, out. For the first minute or so, give your mind some space to settle into practice. Feel the breath going in and out. In, out. Let's expand that awareness to the whole body. From head to toe, acknowledge whenever something grabs your attention. You don't need to seek anything special. Wait patiently with the breath for feeling in the body to emerge. So we'll go back to the breath. And feel the breath going in. Now I'm noticing shoulders. 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 If you find yourself distracted, notice if that's thinking or perhaps a noise, just label it and come back with the breath and the practice. You were noticing shoulders. Let's come back to the central point of breath. In. Out. In. Don't label what the feeling is right now. Just label where it is. Then to the sensation for a few breaths and return to the spot in the body where you are focusing on the breath. Well, you notice it. 
chest. Chest. And then coming back to the spot where I noticed the breath. Continue to observe the breath until another sensation pops up. Maintain this practice of alternating between the breath and sensations in the body. Each time your attention is drawn elsewhere in the body, stay with it for a few cycles of breathing before returning to the breath. Maybe suddenly feeling hungry. We could say that's gut. Let's come back to the breath. In. Out. In. Out. Oh. Again. Coming back to the sensation in one place in the body, perhaps the gut or the chest or the neck or the shoulders. And perhaps there's a distracting, thinking, chattering part. You can just notice that. Label it. And come back to the breath. Get to know your body and explore its experiences with creativity. Now we're going to go back to those sensations. We're going to be curious about if those sensations are a part that is communicating to you. For example, when I noticed sensations in my shoulders, I may be curious and say, hmm, shoulders. What part is talking to me through my shoulders? Hmm. Maybe it's a manager who wants to keep me in line or make sure that I continue caretaking. And I'm curious. And perhaps there's a chattering part that's a distractor. And I'm going to label that distractor. Or perhaps we could call it the firefighter. I'm noticing and I'm curious. If there's one part who's a manager and there's another part who's a firefighter. And perhaps they're polarized. That one isn't too happy with the other one. The chattering, busy mind is distracting. And the manager is like, would you be quiet already? We have stuff to do here. And the wise self is just, oh, that's interesting. 
and then back to the sensations. Noticing the sensation in a particular part of the body. Breathing into it, sending compassion. And noticing pain. And the thinking was distracting from the mindfulness practice. And we'll be curious about that. Was it distracting? And we'll hold all of the parts and let them know that all parts are welcome. And invite the parts to communicate with us what their concerns are, what their burdens are, and we're offering compassion and curiosity and an opportunity to collaborate with the wise self. And just stay with the breath. Stay with the curiosity and compassion. And Shoulders. And let's be curious about the part that wants to talk to us right now. The most prominent sensation, maybe the shoulders, maybe the eyes, maybe the butt. And maybe there's more than one sensation that's prominent. And we'll let the parts know that all parts are welcome and ask if perhaps one part might be the target part for this practice. And perhaps the other parts might find a safe space for watching this or maybe take a break. You may want to turn on a soundtrack of waves in, out, in, out, and the breath in, in out. Like the waves of water with the tide and out. And notice if the internal parts are able to step aside and relax with the sound of the waves going in and out. Listening to the sounds of the breath. Noticing if there's one part that wants to talk to us right now. Noticing if the other parts are able to step aside and relax. And if they can't, then we'll talk to whatever part feels the need to talk to us right now. Noticing the sensations that the part 
feel this in the body. Noticing the rhythm of the breath. Noticing the other parts watching or relaxing on the side. And let's send compassion and curiosity. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you be healthy. May you be at ease. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And you may notice an escalation of a sensation, maybe an increase in heat or an tighter muscle. And just notice it with curiosity and compassion. And let's ask our target part what they're feeling right now. What emotions maybe frustration, maybe excitement, perhaps joy or gratitude, perhaps fear. Anxiety, or maybe embarrassment or shame. All the emotions are welcome. And let's be curious what this part wants to tell us. If it's a manager, they may be saying, you're not doing this right. You got this all wrong. And that manager may have all kinds of instructions. And we're just breathing and curious and noticing what that manager says. If it's a distractor or firefighter, it may be the chattering mind that won't stop. I'm just going to notice that perhaps that comes with a headache or tension or just a sense of pressure. Or if it's an exile, there may be a sense of exhaustion. and giving up. And maybe the exile is curled up in a corner somewhere without anything to say because the others are just so noisy. And let's just breathe and offer curiosity and compassion. And let's ask the part that we're talking to in this moment. Are they aware that they have a wise self? And the part says, hmm, maybe sort of, or not at all. And let's ask the part, what would you like from the wise self? How might the wise self relieve you of the intensity of your hard work? Or it may 
Bien acá, bien en su lado. But we just start to recognize that there's something beyond its own existence. And there's an opposing part on the side, perhaps yelling instructions or crying in a corner or whatever the other parts are doing. Let's continue to notice the breath, the waves of in, out, in, out, noticing like tides coming in. Going out, noticing sensations, thoughts, emotions of the parts, and coming back to our target part. And let's ask our target part what do they need? And what do they want from the wise self? Again, were they able to identify that? And let's ask the target part, what would they do if they didn't have this burden? And I'm noticing that my manager would like to kind of keep my office clean and maybe be a coach to remind me not to forget appointments. And I'm so grateful. The wise self is grateful when the manager lets go of the intensity of the criticism and can trust my wise self leadership. Or perhaps the firefighter distractor it can kind of help me stay focused and provide some energy for me when I'm a little tired. And perhaps my exile wants to be heard and go play or draw. And the manager protectors are kind of leery of letting the exile out, but they would consider it. And let's thank the parts for talking to us today. And just listen to the ocean waves or the tide coming in or going out. And notice the sensations and the presence of the created waves and the breath that are part of the world around us. That was created by a creator who watches over us. and keeps us safe and supported. And let's end with compassion and gratitude. May we be safe. May we be peaceful. May we be healthy. May we live with ease as we notice the rhythm of the breath and the waves coming in and going out. And the 
the creation that is still here and supervised and overseen by the creator. And we express gratitude to the creator and to our wise self for bringing us to this moment. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, feel your feet grounded and your back supported, and reorient back into the room. And come back to reflection about how this practice went. Thank you for joining me.